I don't know their names, Bill, but if you follow the money, you go high enough, you start to see, okay, um, you know, this is an industry, same people who own the labels own the prisons. About a week ago, the legendary Ice Cube caused a major stir in the entertainment industry. He dropped a bombshell that had everyone worried for his safety. And what was it all about, you ask? Well, he exposed some jaw-dropping revelations about the big shots in the business. Ice Cube had the audacity to claim that the NBA, yes, the National Basketball Association, was involved in some serious sabotage. Can you believe the nerve? But that's not all, my friend. He went on to spill even more secrets. You won't believe it, but he delved into the dark world of the Hollywood prison industrial complex. Oh yes, Ice Cube didn't hold back and connected the dots, revealing how the music labels are allegedly feeding people to these profit-driven prisons. It's like a scandal of epic proportions. But that's not all. Ice Cube made sure to grab everyone's attention by sitting down with none other than the one and only Bill Maher on his infamous Club Random podcast. So what exactly did Ice Cube say? Well, in a recent episode of comedian Bill Maher's podcast, rapper Ice Cube spilled some seriously shady tea about the music industry's influence on society. The episode called Club Random was a wild ride filled with gossip-worthy topics like fame, parenting, and a scandalous alleged connection between the prison industry and music. During the marathon hour and a half conversation, Maher couldn't help but dish about his concerns over the growing woke culture. He totally threw shade at it, comparing it to the catty drama of the movie Mean Girls. According to Maher, these woke warriors are always on the lookout for flaws in others, creating a toxic atmosphere of constant fault-finding. But hold up because Ice Cube didn't hold back either. He dropped some major bombshells, suggesting that all these petty arguments are purposely thrown at us by the powers that be to keep us distracted and divided. According to the rapper, they want us to focus on these insignificant issues instead of tackling the real problems that are tearing our society apart. It's just done to really keep us bickering and chasing these words, so they're not really getting to the root of the issues, which are most of the time very common, if we really go down to the root of it, Ice Cube said. He then argued that his experiences within the music industry allowed him to witness the puppet strings being pulled behind the scenes. According to him, it's all about power and control. The rapper continued to delve into the intricate web of connections, dropping hints about influential figures who remain nameless, but who allegedly hold both music labels and private prisons under their command. He urged Maher and his listeners to take a closer look at the money trail, insinuating that it would lead to a jaw-dropping revelation. It's really kind of suspicious, Ice Cube remarked, his voice laden with a mix of concern and intrigue. He emphasized the undeniable link between the music industry and the prison system, raising eyebrows and curiosity. Ice Cube suggested that the songs released by these major labels are carefully crafted to shape the mindset of listeners, subtly pushing them towards a path that ultimately benefits the prison industry. Although he admitted that connecting all the dots would require a deeper investigation, he firmly believed that this was just one example of how the powerful elite manipulate societal divisions for their own sinister gains. Maher, visibly taken aback by these shocking revelations, pressed Ice Cube for more details, seeking clarification on this mind-boggling claim. The rapper, with unwavering conviction, confirmed that he meant every word he said. The same individuals who reap enormous profits from the music industry, he insisted, also have a vested interest in the prison system. Same people who own the labels own the prisons. Of course, critics might raise an eyebrow or two, finding Ice Cube's claims difficult to swallow. After all, he himself was a member of the notorious and controversial gangsta rap group NWA, known for their rebellious and provocative songs like F the Police that challenged authority and societal norms. But hold on to your hats, because Ice Cube had more to spill about the shady underbelly of the music industry. According to Ice Cube, it's not about directly forcing artists to write specific lyrics, but about the record companies acting as covert guardrails to ensure certain songs make it to the airwaves while others are brutally suppressed. Ice Cube exposed the record label's tight grip on creative freedom, claiming they exercise significant control over albums. In some cases, he alleged, they go as far as micromanaging the creative process, manipulating artists to push a specific narrative. You meaning record company guys sit around and tell the artists, this is hot, say that, do this, 
We're gonna have this guy write the lyrics. It's like a dark and twisted game of puppetry where these industry power players pull the strings behind the scenes, shaping the music that reaches our ears. But what's the motive behind this insidious manipulation? Ice Cube dropped a major bombshell, suggesting that it all boils down to what he coined as social engineering. He argued that the music industry's orchestrated control over lyrics and themes serves a larger purpose, perpetuating the profitable prison industrial complex. It's a scandalous revelation that sent shockwaves through the podcast episode and left listeners with their jaws on the floor. Imagine a world where influential figures within the music industry are pulling strings, not only to boost album sales, but to shape the behaviors and mindset of society at large. If Ice Cube's claims hold any truth, it's like stepping into a twisted dystopian novel where the lines between art, manipulation, and control blur into a shady web of deceit. These allegations raise crucial questions about the power dynamics within the music industry and its potential implications on society. Are we unwittingly being subjected to a form of mass social engineering through catchy tunes and carefully crafted lyrics? If Ice Cube's suspicions are accurate, it suggests a deeply rooted conspiracy that reaches far beyond the realm of entertainment. It implies a covert network operating behind the scenes, manipulating public consciousness and dictating the course of cultural movements. The scandalous revelations brought forth by Ice Cube paint a picture of a music industry that thrives on secrecy, power plays and profit driven manipulation. But as with any conspiracy theory, it is crucial to approach these claims with a healthy dose of skepticism. Without concrete evidence and specific names, Ice Cube's assertions remain speculative. However, they do raise awareness about the need for further investigation into the relationship between the music industry and the prison system. In an industry often shrouded in secrecy and veiled power dynamics, it is not implausible to consider that there may be hidden agendas at play. Whether Ice Cube's words hold any truth or not, his statements serve as a reminder to question the status quo and to remain vigilant in the face of potential manipulation. As the controversy surrounding Ice Cube's podcast appearance continues to reverberate, it is uncertain what impact, if any, his claims will have on the music industry. Only time will tell if these allegations gain traction, leading to a closer examination of the industry's inner workings and the implications it may have for society at large. In the meantime, the conversations sparked by Ice Cube and Bill Maher's podcast have undoubtedly fueled further speculation and debate. One person commented, I totally believe the statements about private prison ownership. We need some of our top snoopers to do the research and find the names of the stockholders. That is the only way some of our people will listen. We need to get our young people to listen to Cube. We need to stop selling ourselves into modern slavery and bondage. A second person added, don't need no paperwork when one of the biggest rap artists in our lifetime is telling us right in our face. If he's risking a lot just by him saying it, by us asking for more proof would actually be calling him a liar. Ice Cube is the proof and the truth. But amidst the whirlwind of gossip and conjecture, one thing is certain, Ice Cube's words have struck a nerve, igniting a fierce debate and shining a spotlight on the potential dark side of an industry that thrives on glitz and glamour. Whether his claims are ultimately proven true or dismissed as mere conspiracy, the impact of his words has left an indelible mark on the music industry's reputation. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.